Hello! I'm back, it's Monday, so we're continuing with our Minecraft and trying to get this um, crazy bloody lava pump thing to work. What machines have I got? I, I had a deployer, didn't I? That's this thing, I think. Um, Where is it? Yeah, that one's a deployer. And a deployer can't put lava into tanks, I have learned. So, we're going to have to do something different with it. Um, I've been googling about this today. Hello, Hicklable. Welcome. Trying to figure out how to do this. I'll see if I can find the picture of what I was looking at early earlier. Um, let's see. Oh, also, apparently, I got liquid loader and liquid unloader backwards because liquid loader loads liquid from the bucket into something else and a liquid unloader goes the other way. So I think maybe this is what I want to do. I don't know. If I put that in there, then maybe what I want is wooden pipe there that's it that's a waterproof pipe and then I can stick my engine on this and we'll see how this works I have a feeling today is going to be oh oh amazing okay so that works that works very well so our lava can come into this and get pumped into these tanks and then it doesn't go from these tanks into the generator which is a problem and where is my bucket okay i get i do keep my bucket okay don't worry we we have found one of our missing links here um so i'll just take these down and rebuild it better So we're going to have our tanks up here. I believe this is what we had before. I ha I need a waterproof pipe here. And a pump on this waterproof pipe. So that it will pump the lava from the pipe into this thing. Hello Lou. Welcome. How are you? I think I've figured out an awful lot of this. So the liquid loader was the thing I needed to put up there i need another um waterproof pipe that's just what the issue is um wherever they may be and now i need i also need a way to get the buckets out of there which um i don't know how to do that you know what we, we'll figure it out it's it's all going to come together okay um Maybe I can cook this up in here. Yeah. I've just got some bricks in there that I don't really need yet. I needed them for something, but I can't remember what that was. That was yesterday. This is today. Uh, the world has moved on. It did. Taking a break. Very helpful. Um, having a bit of a Google. Um, I just figured out. I'd got a few pieces backwards, I think. Um, so we'll see if this will work. I think I had more wooden pipes as well lying around somewhere. There we go. I need to make sure I can extract my uh, buckets from this liquid loader as well. So, okay. We're going to have one thing there. And there'll be an engine there. And um, how are we going to do this? Yeah, something like this. Oh, that's backwards, actually. That pipe should be the other way around. I think the red bit is where stuff comes out, and the uh, clear bit is where stuff 
goes in or well the red bit is where it extracts from so yeah buckets will go in here they'll come through there then we need to pump the buckets out which i think we can do with this and we might need to stick another one of those engines on it but um i can make them pretty easily i think they are fairly cheap and i know the recipe pretty well at this stage i've made so bloody many of them um we need an we need one iron we need um a redstone we've got cobblestone we've got wood we've got glass yeah everything else should be fine um here we go this should be it So yeah, I can get one of these. Hope I hope this will work. Um, it's hard to say. Oh yeah, and that's running as well off that same pipe. So now if I plop this in there. Oh, bucket comes out. Amazing. That's exactly what we needed. And lava gets pumped into this tank. And from the tank should get pumped. Oh, crap. This thing's backwards. Um, okay. Well, we were nearly there. Oh, well, there goes my wrench. Um, which looks like a pliers. So, yeah. I'll put the lava in there. Here comes my bucket. There goes the lava around into the generator to make power. So now I just need to get my lava buckets filled up in the nether and get they will get pumped to here. Um, the big thing I need right now is ender eyes or ender pearls specifically. So um, I guess I'll, I'm going to have to go enderman hunting. Um, I know the best place to find Endermen is the end, but unfortunately you need to kill about 20 million Endermen to even get there. So I might just have to go out and do like a nighttime run. Drop off all my valuables somewhere in here that, um, you know, I'm not going to lose them. Oh yeah, the diamond pick can stay at home. Um, an awful lot of this is just crap, actually. It's probably not too important if I lose it, but um, I'll still be careful. Oh, bronze. Yeah, I need my um, other wrench. Wrench. Yeah, because it was designed by someone who doesn't know what a wrench is. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Or can I make one anyway? No, I don't think so. We're going to have to wait for them to uh, spawn. But yeah, we'll get... So what we're going to do is... Um, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. I need to get into the basement. We can build an ender chest, which teleports things from um, one location to another. So we can use the ender chest here. We can have one here and one in the nether. The one in the nether will fill up with our lava buckets and this one will pick them up again and pump them back out into here. It'll all get extracted. Lava gets extracted. Bucket comes back around here, gets sent back to the nether where it feeds back into the machine to have more lava pumped into it. In fact, what time of day is it? We've probably still got a little bit of time. Um... Let's get the liquid unloader and I don't know what else I need in the nether. I've got my pump set up. I don't know, do I need a wooden pipe to transport out of the pump? I think I do. I think that was a thing before. That was an issue I hit. So I'm going to make some extra cactus. Just so that I definitely um, have enough 
waterproofing. Yeah, that sun is taking a, taking its time. I might be able to do this. So I'll get one of those. Turn it into this. Um, I need my wooden pipe. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The um, spammers are back. How do I get rid of them? This is whoever you, whatever your name is. Um, you are now. How do I ban them? Port them for spam. There we go. Exactly. I'm already famous. I don't I don't need um some spam robot trying to sell me extra fame. If anything, it's a bother. I get chased by the paparazzi all the time. Um I ca I can't live in peace at all. Um Yeah, this is good. The waterproof pipe. Oh, actually it's getting dark. So I will leave these things here cuz I'm going to go enderman hunting. But we have the pieces we we will need. I'll go to the desert, I think, because that's going to be a big, flat, empty, open place. And if I if I'm going to find an Enderman anywhere, it's probably going to be around there. Also, I've got a full suit of iron armor on. I'm pretty well protected. I don't think I'm going to get killed. So, you know. I can throw caution to the wind a bit to do this. It's not like I'm playing hardcore mode anyway. I keep kind of forgetting because, um, you know, I play hardcore mode so often. I become very averse to death in Minecraft, but it's really not that much of a problem. Hello, cows. Yeah, I'll just hang around here and um, see if any Endermen spawn. I've really done a bit of a number here, um, destroying this desert habitat. I thought they were creepers for a minute. They are just cactuses, or cacti, as they like to be known. Oh, that one's a creeper. Um, and a skeleton. And some oil. Oil could be a useful power source as well, but um, it runs the risk of exploding, a bit like coal. So um, I'm a little bit wary about it. We could do nuclear as well, but again, also explosions. Oh, look, here's our villager friend. Whatchamacallum, Anakin Skywalker. I don't know what he's doing so far from home. Um... going to kill this creeper because why not because killing is fun it makes me feel like a big man um not not a big enderman unfortunately where the hell are they it's just a skeleton city out here and we only need one if we have one ender pearl we can um, duplicate it with the machine of course the handy thing with this mod pack you only ever really need one of anything let's just have a bit of a wander and kill some skeletons oh you want some too do you ooh Endermen don't disappear in the sunlight as well, so um, I think we just have to wait for them to spawn, and we don't even have to kill them immediately. We can take our time. I can't pick up those arrows, apparently. In some mod packs you can. Um, not this one. Oh, this village is bigger than I thought. I never saw that um, 
second house down there. Let's have a look. Is there anyone in there? Don't worry, we'll save you. Hello? Oh, look. Yeah, they're trapped inside. The front door has become buried by this gravel path that was poorly built in a strange location. I'd remodel for them, but I had a bad experience with Humphrey in the last mod pack, so I'm not too bothered helping villagers right now. <laughs> they just, they're very lazy. Always looking for help. You've got to let them help themselves sometimes. I don't think I've wandered this far in this direction before. We could find all kinds of um, mysterious treasures. Explode all kinds of different colored creepers as well. Um, oh, look at this spider over here. There you go. That's what you get. Um, God, this is, this is a desert of endermen. They mustn't like the sand or the hot weather. It's quite a big desert, actually. I'm impressed by this. It's not the little tiny place I thought it was. Where's this guy? There you are. Um, did someone else fire at me? That's not called for. Just nibble on some pork while I'm out here. The moisture, the meat juice keeps, keeps me hydrated in my um, wild Saharan wanderings. Oh, and look, I've reached the other side. It isn't actually a very big desert, now that I think about it. I kind of wish I'd put on the huge biomes mode, because I think that's kind of fun. Um, it makes it feel like a real journey when you have to travel to a different kind of environment. Everything is um, eight times as big, I think. Well, eight times in either direction, so like 64 times as big. Or is it four times in every direction? It's one of them anyway. It's it's pretty big, whichever way. Now, come on. Still haven't seen one of them. Someone following me? No. We'll get a good view from up here of um, all the surrounding landscape and we can keep an eye out. Oh, that skeleton's in some oil. I don't know if it'll ignite the oil when he catches fire in the sunlight. I hope it does. Um, oh, there's one. Let's make eye contact and charge right for him. Oh yeah, he's seen us. He knows we're looking at him. He's coming. Where'd he go? Oh crap. Oh crap, he's really trapped me here. Did... Leave me alone, monsters. Leave me alone. Oh, where did he drop in? No, he didn't. No. Ah. It was close. Oh, 
That was good. I like how we locked eyes from the top of the mountain and then just sort of marched towards each other to battle. But um, unfortunately, he was not carrying his eyes with him. It's weird how these ender pearls or ender eyes are green when the actual eyes of endermen are purple. Doesn't really make sense. In fact, there's very little green to do with the end at all. It's all kind of purple themed. Sort of purple and yellow. Um, oh, this would be a nice place to build a base, I think. Like a desert fortress. I mean, I've already got a base, but if I wanted another one. Um... Oh no, the oil is putting out the fire. I think that's probably scientifically more accurate. I think if a small flame hits like oil or petrol or something, it doesn't actually usually ignite it. It'll just be put out by it. I think you need a pretty big flame. Because, you know, they'll drown out the oxygen or whatever. I don't know if that's the actual science. Um, it sounds right, though. Now, okay, well, no luck finding an Enderman, so we can head back to the base for today, go to the nether and um, build the pumping apparatus for that end. We also need to get um, blaze rods, which we can get in the nether, um, right near our nether portal. So, just so that we're uh, fully prepared for this. I need to make a dimensional anchor as well to stick in the nether to uh, keep that area loaded. Even when I'm not there. I don't know if that'll work on single player though. I think it does. I suppose we'll find out. Um, so it should just keep pumping lava and bringing it through into our generator. Afternoon, animals. Oh look, some zombies. If you haven't got an ender eye, I don't care who you are. Um, where are we? We're meant to be this side of the hill. I should build a back door, actually, out on this side and make the whole hill into, like, my base. Maybe I can put some sort of, like, marker in the middle as well. That might be good. All these brilliant ideas, you know, things we can do eventually... Electricity is the priority for now, and I'm going to keep keep at it until um, we've done it. Okay, so, yeah, that, that'll keep going for a long while. Um, I need some glass. Am I out of glass? I can't be out of glass, can I? Okay, I'm going to bring these pipes anyway. I definitely had a lot of glass somewhere. What are these pipes? I couldn't have used it all. Is it in my inventory already? No. Ah, crap. I don't even have one. I probably cloned it all into something else. Um, I'll, I'll just make some. I've got piles of sand here. Yeah, stop. Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Your job's done. Here, cook up this sand. Um... Oh my god. The way it just sputters along like that. Our solar power really is pathetic. We just cannot live off this. <sighs> okay. So we've got our glass. Um, we need redstone. Actually, I'm going to clone up more glass.
just so that we have um, an extra bit. I need my wood. Wherever I threw that, my sticks. No, I don't need my sticks right now. Um, I can just make more. I hope one of these will be enough. Um, I don't know if it will. I need my cobblestone, actually. Why did I lose my cobblestone somewhere? Um, okay. This should work, I hope. Okay, so we've got this. I will bring the sticks because I want to make levers with them. Um, we've got our liquid unloader. Wait. I'm going to bring a normal chest just um, to have something to put the bucket into at the end of the process so it's like a, a it's a proof of concept right now and because the nether doesn't stay loaded when i'm not here we don't have to worry about this like draining all the lava or anything it should work fine um the only thing I'm worried about is those ghasts floating around here. Oh, and that um, Blaze who is chasing after me. Oh, God. Where are they? Oh, they're going to destroy everything. Oh, here we go. We got him. Did he drop a tear by any chance? I don't think he did. Um, that's okay. So yeah, I don't think this pump is actually going to fill these tanks. So maybe they're not a good idea. I didn't bring a pickaxe at all. Okay, I can just pick them up like this. It'll be fine. But anyway... So I want my loader to go here. This is a, or my unloader to go here. I don't know why it's not called a liquid loader when it loads liquid into buckets. But there you go. Um, oh crap, 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 crap. Who's firing at me? You. Oh come on, look he's just having a warm shower up there. I have to get him at an angle where I can knock them back at him. Oh, this is annoying. I think he's leaving. Oh, no, he's coming back. No, he's leaving. Okay, I think maybe we're okay. Do I have a... I don't have a bow. I have a bunch of arrows. If I had a bow, we could, you know, take a few shots at him. But um, it's not happening. So cobblestone waterproof pipe is what I need. From the top of here to go here. Oh, I'm going to have to move this thing. Oh no, I can't. Because I don't have a pickaxe at all. Um, poorly thought out nether plans. Um, here we go. This breaks very slowly. 
Do I need a better pickaxe? I bet I do. Yeah, feck it. I just destroyed it. Um. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and rebuild that. Um. Ah. Uh, I think I need another uh, redstone engine while I'm at it. Maybe I should bring enough stuff to build a proper um, nether base here. Through that. Oh, those blazes. Hang on. Let's go take care of them. Ah! 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 Oh no, this is the end. This is going to be it. At least let me get back. Okay. Well, it was a good run. Um, like, I lasted a good long while in that life. Where did my other stuff go? Hang on. Oh, no. Into the sea. Well, that one's damaged. I'll keep the intact one. Oh, crap. How much did I lose down here? I was just standing casually in lava without realising it. That was my problem. That is generally the sign of a problem in Minecraft. You're just like, hmm, my feet are oddly warm. Um. Oh no, where's my sword? Oh crap, that's the thing I just threw into the sea. Um. Oh, my tank's... If I want to go and hunt um, Endermen now, and I really do, I'm going to need a weapon to do it with. Oh, it's gone. It's just gone. I have to go make a new one. Um, what do I have in my chests? I have sapphires. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't need that damaged helmet anymore. You can get out of here, you jerk. Um, yeah, I'm going to go fight the Endermen. Those Endermen over there on that hill. They're perfect. They'll do. Look at them just hanging around doing their dark deeds where did he go they actually die if they touch water as well or they take damage from it anyway which can be very handy I hate how they do that though oh there we go mission accomplished okay one thing has gone right operation enderman has gone perfectly fine So now I can just uh, clone up some more Ender Eyes and we should be good to go. Yeah, forget you, Iron. Ender Eyes are where it's at now. Oh, wow. Ender Eyes are surprisingly cheap to manufacture. Um, no, I want to... Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, what can I get rid of? Saplings. I don't need you. But, yeah. Put all these ender eyes in there. I um, can use them later on. Okay. So, an ender chest. I'm going to go ne need to go get some blaze rods from the nether. That's fine. I'll need some wool, some obsidian. These are all okay things. Um... Get back to the nether, I think, to get the um, blaze rods. Unfortunately. From these guys over here. These troublemakers. The troublesome twosome. 
I just need to get one. I've got one. Ah! Okay, so let's um, make a few of these. And we'll turn it all back into iron. Iron's just a good reliable block to have lots of. Do we have obsidian? I don't think we do, but we can get some obsidian quite easily downstairs and then clone it to make more oh not using those stairs though um they are too dangerous i'm going to build a prototype of my machine here actually so maybe so that we can um test it out properly if i build like i want to I, i'm under a lot of pressure in the nether being shot at and kerploded and everything i think maybe it would help to do a dry run here actually no this is the wrong level maybe we could do a dry run in the base or well maybe that's a bad idea i don't know this one over here actually I'm pretty sure this stuff can be um, broken down in the old energy condenser for a good bit of energy and so can lapis So I'll throw them in just to speed along the old obsidian production. And the other things we need are wool and um, what else? I think it's just wool, blaze rods, obsidian and um, ender pearl. Ah, I wanted to get rid of those trees, actually. Yeah, so let's um, do this. Get ourselves a bit of obsidian. Um, we need my thingies for wool, I think think can you make wool like this still oh yeah perfect okay so we're going to make two ender chests oh we need to make chests as well um do i have enough wood for that i think i'm gonna to have to clone some wood as well oh yeah wood is cheap Okay. Oh, I have one. I have a chest. We only need to make one more. I think I was actually okay. Um, do these stack? They do. Okay. So, uh, where's my wool? Then I believe it was something like this. I might actually need four of them because I'll need like the input and output, but um, this will do. So now we will have this up there and we need just a cobblestone transport pipe. That's exactly what I needed. Or no, I need a wooden transport pipe. Um, I'm sure we have tons of them left. I'm going to need another one of those stupid pumps as well. Those uh, redstone engines. But I've got one, so that'll be okay. Now, 
Nope, other way around, please. Oh God, how do, how do I change these around? Um, is there like a, I think there might be a screwdriver that does something like this. A sonic screwdriver, ooh. Okay, a stick and an iron ingot, and maybe I can uh, reverse them. No, doesn't seem to work. Um, okay. Do it a different way. Um, what we will do is, this might even look better as well. Put that there. I'll put the chest there like that. We'll have our um, wooden pipe coming out the back. We'll put that into a cobblestone pipe. And we'll go to here. Oh yeah, I think this is better anyway. Um, we're going to have to have a pipe coming off this thing as well. We can put that there. And it can be powered by a lever. And I can stick over here. Okay, so buckets will come out of that chest. They'll pass through here into this thing. They will come out of this and Yeah, I need stone transport pipes, I think. But this will be good. Um, oh, brilliant. I've got some regular stone right here. Um, do I still have my glass? No. Oh, I'm losing everything. I just... I have no idea where I'm putting everything. These tanks can stay here. Um, I had a load of glass. Oh, there it is. I was about to complain that it had gone missing in the ocean, but premature. I've, I have got it. Okay. Kando Kaz, hello. Welcome. How are you? We've got our machine almost working. Um, this thing will pump them out and down and into this ender chest here. But this one will be a different uh, color code. Luckily, I have this dye upstairs, actually. I made all that green dye for no particular reason. Um, but now it has come in handy at last, or I could have used lapis, actually. But yeah. So the combination on this one will be green, white, white. So lava che lava buckets come in here. They get pumped out into this thing. This thing unloads the lava into here and drops the buckets into here where they go into this chest, which will teleport them to the nether where the opposite will happen. Um, I just have to make sure that the nether is set up for this to work. Um, I'm going to need lots and lots of bricks to do, do this. I'm going to have to build a sort of nether base to keep myself safe. Actually, this stuff, this nickelite can just go right in there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need these arrows either or this rotten flesh. And how many blaze rods have I got? No, actually, I do need to make more, um, two more ender chests. So I'm not going to get rid of the blaze rods just yet. Um, where's my string? Did I have more of that? Or oh yeah, there we go. Great. So two of these, the two of the. Look at them, the, like glimmering. That's pretty impressive. Oh.
actually short on the old blaze rods. I didn't expect that. But um, yeah, so we've got two more ender chests here. We're going to need a few more buckets as well, actually, which is good. I can take uh, some stuff from here. That should probably be enough, I think. Oh, they don't stack. That is going to be annoying. Um, am I missing a bucket? I No, no, I'm not. Sorry, I miscounted. Um, now I need a liquid crap. What is the one I need? It's the one that puts things into buckets. So it's called an unloader for some reason. Um, I don't know. That's just why they do it, what the, or what they call it. Um, could not tell you why that is an unloader instead of a loader. Because my last one, I don't know if you were here um, earlier, all of you, but uh, my last one kind of got destroyed by my misinformed pickaxing. Oh, I'm good, thanks. Um yeah back in work today but it's my last week in work before christmas and it's a short week for me so you know i'm practically on holidays now it's just very exciting i mean i don't know what i'm going to do next week well i of course i do i'm going to like do loads of stuff probably a lot of programming the stuff <laughs> i do a lot of programming in work as well but you know, the fun kind of programming rather than the um, obligation kind of programming. Maybe a bit of game making. Um, I've been working on a thing that um, sort of looks like... Uh, basically, you saw my, my game jam game I made, Yog Towers, that uh, was about building the tower full of, like, different... Full of, like... Um, workers and everything i it's got me in the mood for making something sort of sims like but maybe a bit retro so what i've been working on is a sort of um it looks like sort of if the sims one was made in 1990 is what i'm going for um i haven't got an awful lot done i've got the sort of isometric world done i've got the walls i've got the cursor i was working on getting zoom zooming in and out done um early days but it, you know i've got a bit of the groundwork done and it's been good fun so um i'm really enjoying that i'm going to bring some grass some cobblestone and some of this dye with me into the nether because um i'm going to need it i think to i might need to make some more waterproof piping and stuff when i'm there i have my sword great okay I should have brought a door or something. But, oh well, live and learn. Or die and learn, who knows. This is my nether machine. Oh, it's working. It doesn't need the pump. That is very fortunate. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow up my machine. Oh, he didn't blow up my machine. That's good. Um, no, I can't. I can't do this. It's going to have to be out further. Please stop. Please stop nearly blowing up my machine. Oh, he did blow it up. The bastard. He's... You're breaking everything, you stupid ghast. Do not mess with me. Do not toy with me, you... 
back in pillow monster okay he's coming back look nothing there is irreplaceable anyway it's all pretty oh crap is there there's a second one This is getting quite tiresome. They can't blow up cobblestone. That's um that's what I can use in my favor here. feel like a fool building my gas shelter as I'm being attacked by ghasts. It seems super dangerous. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, that that one was too close. Where would, I, where, where would I have even fallen to if that one had hit? Okay. Oh. Here we go. This should give me some level of protection. Ah! He came from above. Leave me alone. Oh, this is the most annoying thing in the world. Just go away, Ghast. Is it... I think he's trying to be friendly. I think this is how Ghasts make friends. Because fire doesn't hurt them. It, like, heals them. So I think he's trying to be nice. But just, um, you know, it's a cultural misunderstanding. With comic results. Oh, that one's going to hit him, is it? Oh, oh, he dodged. You can't dodge. Oh, here we go. No. Here. Come on. Come on, hit me with one. Straight at me, come on. Fire at me! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's just avoiding all of them. This guy. I've never had so many near misses. Okay, I think, is he too far now? No, he's not. But while he is distracted, I just want to do this. Brilliant. Oh, crap. I'm just going to quickly build this um, little nether base. Very rudimentary. It's just going to be like a, a bomb shelter, I suppose. Just to help me uh, survive here. then maybe another level up there yes there you go that'll teach you see he was trying to get me there okay now i think i should be safe enough in here um i need some waterproofing because I need to build a waterproof transport pipe. 
so it'll all pump up into that thing then we need the liquid unloader here which that will all go into I hope no okay maybe it has to go in the top um We can accommodate that. Um, it's just going to, well, it'll be a bit of a pain, but you know, it'll be fine. I've got all of these waterproof things anyway. Um, I've got a crafting table in here too. So I can, and I brought all my glass as well, I think. Didn't I? No. Ah, I thought I brought my glass. Okay. We can do it with these stone pipes. Oh, this thing isn't going to be powered anymore, is it? Because the or is, does the generator on it or the pump on it still exist anywhere? No. No, it does not. This pump is completely unpowered. <laughs> Great. Okay, and I forgot my glass. Um, I'll leave that open hole there. That's where I'm going to put the uh, engine that will power it. But I have to bloody return to the bloody real world to pick up my to get my glass back. Oh crap! You get out of here. Magma slimes and everything. This place is so unfriendly. Are these pig men? They're not they're not helping anyone. Come on guys, stand up for yourselves. Okay. Back here, I can store my magma cream in here. Um, I had like a big pile of glass. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, do I need anything else? I'm going to go back. I'm going to make the engine. I need glass for that. I've got my chests. I've got my dye. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm okay. I've got my wood. Redstone. Iron. Oh, I've got a little bit of iron. I'm going to get more iron. I'm just going to be extra careful. So what's everyone been up to, um, I suppose, since yesterday? Well, this week. I, do I don't think I asked yesterday. I hope everyone has been having a nice time. I'm very in the Christmas spirit at the moment. I'm looking forward to Christmas so much. I mean, it'll be a weird one, but, you know, Christmas is Christmas. It'll be fun. Chris D, hello. And get more time limited emotes with the next month of that September six month cheap sub. Oh wow. Well <laughs> hang on, I can click thank. Thanks for the twenty twenty suspicious sure. And thank you for the sub as well. Um, if you're doing it for the t even if it's for the time limited emotes, um, God, what am I doing here? I was gonna get a thingy, you know, those thingies. I know the technical names for everything in this game. I've been playing it since 2009, so you know, 
thingy is the technical correct term uh, for the innie outy pushy machines. Um, get myself a lever here. Okay, let's hope this works. I'm not sure that's in the right position to work with that thing. Is it? Oh, wait. I see. Okay, it's pumping. Now, I hope this thing is set up right. Or, um, we could be in trouble here. Nothing's filling in yet, but, um, I'm, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Thingy is the most descriptive thing. It's, um, it's the most scientifically accurate, I think. So anyway, I wanted an ender chest. Oh crap, that's not what I meant to do. Um, <laughs> I wanted an ender chest. I'll put it over. That's not my ender chest. It looks like an ender chest a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay, and this one is my output chest. That should be fine. Anna Kanatka, hello, how are you? Is this pumping at all yet? I don't see anything coming up into here. Could need a second engine or something. I don't know. The engine hasn't built up to full power yet anyway. It's just running in blue. Um, I wanted a wooden pipe then to take stuff out of here. And a stone pipe plop it in here and I want this thing to have buckets in it can it have more than one no okay a bucket it's fine it doesn't matter we're not going to be using that much electricity anyway um what did I want to do next yes make one of these things Oh, crap. I need another thingy. Um... Oh, you haven't missed too much. Uh, we're still trying to get the same machine working. Just, um... I'm in the nether, and I think I've figured it out. So, I've got the um, factory end set up. I'm just setting up the nether end of it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I can put that there and then turn it on here and I hope that only pumps out the um, filled buckets if it pumps anything at all um, if that pumps out my empty bucket I'm going to be really annoyed it doesn't seem to be I think we're okay this thing still hasn't started working yet <clears throat> and then our other chest should be here and this one should have the green thing on it and then this one is where we're going to receive back the empty buckets and fill them into this thing and hopefully this should give us um a really nice system. Come on, this thing, it should have pumped something by now. Um, I could put on a second pump, a second engine. I think I will. Just because I'm getting impatient. You saw it was working before, so um, it can be done. It just doesn't want to. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. Two of these, one of these, one of these, and three of these dealies. And we've got our engine. Which I can stick on here. And I'm going to need another switch for it, I think.
I don't know something else wrong. It was working earlier. Maybe I need a wooden pipe there. Um, these are waterproof pipes, so that that much is okay. I think I need a wooden pipe here. That's all I can think of that's missing. Um, because... This was working fine earlier. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the wooden pipe has to be there to tell it where to start. And then, yeah, it's filling this thing up. It fills the bucket. The bucket pumps out into this chest and back to our own dimension. This is going to be brilliant. Okay, so the bucket, it's arrived there. Um, it's, you know, it's fine. It's because we're not in the other dimension. It hasn't um, loaded back yet. No, that's the wrong way around. Okay, I'm going to have to move this thing a little bit. If I can. Where's my cobblestone? Oh crap, my spider eyes. It's a good thing I didn't need those for anything. Um Yeah, I'll stick this chest down over here. Have the wooden pipe coming out of there. Oh, I don't need a waterproof pipe. I just need a regular stone pipe. Um, and I need to make my pump. And yet another one of these um, engines. Like this. Yes. Stick it on there. And just so many levers. Okay, so this one will start pumping. I'm going to stick my a bucket in here and see what happens. Yeah, that bucket gets picked up. Now, it should go in here, fill up with lava, and then pump out. I hope. Come on. Or, you know, disappear forever somehow. Okay, that's weird. Um... Hmm. That's not good. Yeah, I can fill them up when I drop them in here, but how do I get them in here? Through the machine. Um, an interesting problem. Um... That bucket has just disappeared into nothingness. Um, maybe it has to come in from the bottom. I don't even really know. I'm going to have to just check this. That is a liquid unloader. How do we I pipe empty buckets into it? Let's see. Okay, no, that's a thread I looked at before. Okay, I might need a tank cart. Oh, 
this is this is strange. So liquid unloader is for working with tank carts. So how do I get the lava into a tank cart then? Oh, this is just very annoying. <laughs> so close. So close. Um, okay. Hmm. Do I still have my deployer? I'm gonna have to think about this one. try something if it doesn't work it doesn't work but uh, maybe I can do something like this so maybe now now what will happen to my bucket? This feels very dangerous looking at all that lava down below. Okay, so the bucket will go there. It'll vanish. It's not working, is it? Okay, uh, huh. This is way too complicated for me as well. I've not, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah. This just doesn't, ah. Where are the buckets going? I don't have that much iron with me that I can try this too many more times. Okay. So. I want to fill up buckets. With that. Hang on. Oh. An industrial craft to pump. Which is that? So this is build craft. I think this is industrial craft. I don't know which is the industrial craft pump. Um okay. The one made up of empty cells and machine blocks. So this one. Okay, so this thing apparently will pump li any liquid it receives into chests, into empty buckets and chests next to it. Which could be what I'm looking for. Or, uh, let's see if I can find anything else. I can have a deployer fill buckets from a tank. I don't know how I do that though. Um I have a deployer. I'm going to go get it and see what I can do here. 
Oh, leave me alone. Just go away. Come on. We've, we've had enough of you, Ghast. The joke is getting tired now. Just go home. There. That's what you get. Oh, don't go crying tears at me now just because you got exploded. Actually do, because they're quite rare and I can use them in crafting. I think. I forget what they're used for, but, you know, you I'm sure there's a use I can find. Okay, so. I can still hear all the burning from the nether, even though I'm out of it. Oh, it's gone. Okay. That was like a Vietnam flashback or something. Um, where is my deployer? There's my deployer. So a deployer simulates a right click from a player. So... I guess I can use it to fill a bucket somehow from a tank. Um, hang on, I've got tanks in here. I can make some buckets. I can test this one out. Okay, I need to fill up this bucket with something. Water, I guess, but... Um, Underwater water. I don't want to mess up the surface. Oh, I've already messed up the surface. Um, it's fine. I'll... Oh, there's a way to fix that. I did it last time. Um, is it something like this? Yeah, that seems to flatten it all out. Oh, that's what I was doing out there with that bit of dirt. Hang on. I might as well finish this just while I'm out here. Fix the ocean that I am um, polluted. So carelessly. This is a good use for netherrack. Not very useful for other things. Oh, and it's gone. Um, but the memories remain. Okay, so that's a little bit more of the ocean repaired. Um, we'll very gradually get it all fixed eventually. But for now, that'll have to do. Um, now, my deployer test. Now I've got a bucket of water to uh, test it with. So we're going to have a deployer here. We're going to have a tank of water here. And we'll put that in there. We'll put the bucket in the deployer. Oops. And I'm going to make myself a switch to put here and see what happens. Oh my god, it works! Okay, this this changes things. We've got, we've got an idea now. Um, I'm going to need some redstone things, but... Oh, yeah, and if I check in here... Oh. My buckets haven't come through, because I don't have the world anchor in the nether, of course. Um, what is the anchor made of? I can make a dimension anchor or world anchor. I think they're pretty much the same thing. Iron and gold... Uh, 
have? Where's my iron? Oh, I've got loads of iron. I just need four gold ingots. Ah. There we go. I'll leave one in here and I'll use the other four in my uh, construction. So, yeah. I think this should work if I go into the nether now. Maybe this game has to be like... Oh, there's no open to LAN. I'm not sure if these require you to be in multiplayer mode to work. Um, we'll see. I can always move this to a server if I need to. Um, you know, it won't cause too much of a problem. I would just obviously rather keep this. It's a single player game. I'd rather keep it um, single on my, like single computer okay so i'll stick this up there oh look they're gone so they must have they must have gone through hang on i'm gonna have to check this on the other end um but no i'll fix this place up first okay um oof. So, I wanted a tank here. And we need a deployer here. So, buckets come in here. They go to the deployer. Hang on, I need an empty bucket for this. Buckets come in here. They go into the deployer, which will deploy. And fill them with um, lava. I think I need a filter to take them out. Because I can't just take everything out. Um, oh, I need gold for that. I need a red doped wafer. Which... Oh, no. Oh, why do I need so many things for this? Um, hmm. I think a filter is what I need. I think that extracts a particular item. Oh, oh wait, there's an easier version called a transposer. Oh, that's a lot easier. Okay, I think I can make that right now. So, a transposer ingests a single item into a pneumatic tube. Uh, okay. Can I filter it, though? Let's see. Ingesting items. Blah, blah, blah. Sucking all items in the front of itself. Oh, no, maybe it's not what we need. Sucking one item from a container everything that arrives via tube when connected to tube lines okay yeah this should work I think um let's give it a shot this is a very complicated machine and it's going to like I know it's just going to break at every opportunity. Why did I make gears? I didn't need gears. Um, I needed to make... Yeah, you see, normally when I'm making these things, I'm making them because I need to make an engine. This time I'm not. Um, so, wood, wood, redstone, and cobble. Get me a transposer. And I think my screwdriver can turn this. Can it? 
Yes. Perfect. And now, a pneumatic tube is made of brass and glass. I've got brass back home. Okay, I can run back and get some of that. Um, I can't tell this thing what to... Um, what item to take, though. It's not, it's not a, like a proper filter, but we c we'll make it work. So, buckets will arrive from here, get pumped into here. Um, oh, I'm going to need a redstone signal to reach that thing, and I don't know how I'm going to do that with this thing in the way. Can I pick this up? I think that'll actually have to go on top. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is, this is so crazy complicated. I just don't know. So, yeah, I need, um, oh, I can use these things. Red alloy wire, which is made, oh, I need an alloy furnace for that. Oh my God, I need so many things. Um, there's a, some sort of redstone timer I think I can make as well there I can build a time oh my god <laughs> I'm being overwhelmed here okay yeah. This deployer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how how am I going to do this? Maybe I should use that other kind of pump. I just use regular old transport pipes? I have an idea. A very hacky one. Although I'm going to need something to power this deployer. Um, I wonder if I, if I left the deployer permanently on, does it work? So let's just say I do this. The deployer is deploying. No, it has to go off and on again. So, yeah, the deployer has to constantly switch off and on in order to work. And we're going to need to take the stuff out of it somehow. Hmm. How can I do this? Okay. Okay. Hang on. There's also an item called a retriever. It's a remote filler. No. It retrieve items from the nearest inventory. That's not what I want. Um... Sorry, a remote filter. Okay. I think it possibly is a filter that I need here for what I want to do. But that is going to require an alloy furnace. How do I make an alloy furnace? And that's going to need to be powered. Okay. 
Alloy furnace is actually pretty okay, actually. I think, yeah, let's just go home and make an alloy furnace. <laughs> oh, this is just never ending. I suppose it, I'm, I am trying to get like a near endless amount of electricity, so it should be hard to do. And this is the easy mod pack, by the way. Like, that last one we were playing. Remember how long I was at that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Ow. Oh, I just didn't want him to hit the uh, portal. So I sort of ran around it. Because if they hit the portal, then um, they will knock it out. And I... Oh, I do have a flint and steel. I could technically get back home. But it's just going to be a pain if I have to use that. Okay, I've got some bricks here. That I can maybe use for a quick escape. Oh, let's see. Well, our lava buckets should have come through to here anyway. That's one thing that should have happened. Um, wherever they ended up. No? I'm very confused. Um, unless they've gone back to the nether again, they would have pumped into here. They would have come into this chest where they would have been pumped along into here. Oh, I don't even know. Who even knows anymore? <laughs> this is insanity. I am I am actually going insane. What time is it now? Half eight. Okay, well I can go a little longer. Um while we try to figure this out. An alloy furnace. Let's go make an alloy furnace, because why the hell not? Um Oops. I'm actually really surprised at how easy to make an alloy an alloy furnace appears to be. Um, okay, I'll store one of these bricks in here just so I can do them again. And I don't think this has to be powered. I think it just um, does it. I think you might just have to throw some coal in here. Yeah. Okay. So. If I wish to build a filter, I need a red doped wafer, which requires silicon, which is made from coal and sand in the alloy furnace. Isn't there like a silicon ore as well? This is what I don't understand. I just throw that on the ground. I think there's like a silicon ore underground that we can dig up and it just doesn't do anything. Ah. Okay, let's see what this will do. We've got a silicon bool. Okay, that looked like one of the things. We need to make a diamond saw. Um, do I have diamonds? I have, I have got enough diamonds. Do I have enough iron? I don't think so, actually. Um, oh, we can make a million iron from this thing. Or like five, whatever. Close enough. So we make the saw. We cut the silicon into silicon wafers, which sound delicious. I'll have them with ice cream. Um, and now we have to put our silicon wafer in with four redstone. A 
and then we just need a piston, some gold, and some cobblestone. I think we have gold. We have a little bit of gold. We can make more gold. Um, sort of. Actually, let's use this lapis. Um, we don't need all this lapis. Oh yeah, that's a good source of gold. Um, I'll make that piston. That's the name of the thingy. It took me that long to remember, but that is it. That is the thingy, the piston. Yeah, I need some extra iron for this. Oh, okay. So the piston is um, this. The piston is this ton. And we get this and our gold. Okay. So it was gold, gold, piston, wafer, then cobble all around. Great. I can get rid of this one, the transposer. We don't need that. Um, this bronze. Oh, wait. Is that bronze? Brass. Okay. We need to put in tin and copper. One tin and two copper. Uh, we've got copper dust. Do we have any copper already in ore form? I'm not sure we do. Oh, I'm go oh no, there we go. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, and we need a couple of tin ingots. Um, okay, this... Oh, we've got two in there. Yeah. I'll just leave that one so we have an extra one. Um, why is my... Flint and steel in there. Okay. Um, make me some brass. Oh, wow. That actually gave me more brass than I expected. Um, so we've got our pneumatic tubes. And we've got our filter. The creeper having a swim out here. I don't think he can do damage if he explodes in the water. But um, I don't want to take that risk. And a skeleton as well. Come on, leave me alone. I'm having a tough day. I'm trying to build an impossible system. I still have to figure out what's happening to those buckets that are just disappearing. They probably fed through into that old broken system and got destroyed. Um, but not this time. Okay. Good. Where's my filter? The filter can go up here and it can face down. And I can tell the filter what's coming into it. So what is going to all that is going to be allowed into this filter is lava buckets. Oh, that uses up my lava bucket, I think. Uh, what does this do? I don't know what this is. Okay. I've clicked through till it went back to normal. So I think it's fine. Um, now, my pneumatic tubes from this filter will come out like this and go into that chest. So only lava filled buckets will be pulled out. Which is good. So now, that timer I was looking at. Stone wafer. Okay, I just cook some stone. And these things... Okay, these actually aren't too hard to make. I can just head back and make all these bits and get my timer. And some red alloy wiring. And then I think we're... 
about ready to go to get this system up and running. I think I've done it. Against all odds, I have bumbled my way into a working system. I'm going to jinx it, though. I'm completely jinxing it. Um... The flint and steel keeps jumping into there. I don't know why. So to make my red alloy, I need some iron ingots and some redstone. And that's perfectly fine. I can just do that. Uh, now, to make a timer, I need a lot of stone wafers, which I get by cooking stone. Um... You know, I'm going to keep one regular stone in there just in case. Um, but yeah, let's make some stone wafers, everybody. Hooray. Okay, so we have two normal ones. We need three of three stone wires. some of those other things oh god I do need like one block of regular stone anyway okay let's just start on these components um, I've got a lot of crap in here that I'm not going to need we can just dump somewhere We're done with all of that. Okay, so three of these. Oh, did I dump my redstone in there? No, I dumped my redstone into the furnace, of course. Um, how foolish of me. Great, I need these. I think that's probably enough. Two of those, I've got them. Um, two of these. Oh, that's great. Oh no, I, do, I did, don't have enough because that one recipe used up loads. Um, okay, one of these. And one of these things. Okay, now that's done. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put this thing together. Amazing. The leftover bits can stay here. And my red alloy is ready. So I can make this into red alloy wire. Which is good to have. I'm hitting caps lock instead of shift. Um, okay. So yeah, I need, I'm going to need iron. Because I need to make buckets. Um... Oh, this stuff is terrible for making iron with. Um, blaze rods. Sapphires. They're going to be worth a few iron each. Okay, that's more like it. Um, back to the nether, I guess, with my red alloy wire and my timer. I am just actually thinking I shouldn't head back yet. There's one more thing I need. This isn't just about uh, keeping the nether loaded. We also need to keep the factory loaded while... What happened there? We also need to keep the factory loaded while we're in the nether, as well as the nether loaded while we're in the factory. 
So I'm going to need a bit of gold um, to make myself another dimensional anchor. And, oh, I don't know. I'm running out of materials here. Let's just um, throw this in. Yeah, there we go. It's exactly what I needed. Um, so all this iron I have, actually, yeah, I'll keep keep one in there as always. Oh, my shears. Um, we want to make sure that this part of the world stays loaded as well. And I, ha I have a feeling I'm going to have to move this to a server and uh, play it from there because I don't think these things work in single player. Because this is from old Minecraft. Yeah, I think in modern Minecraft, single player pretty much is multiplayer. It's just... Um, you know, runs it on your own machine and sort of, it runs a server in like internally. I'm pretty sure at this stage it was like a separate thing. So that mightn't work as planned. Okay. So now we put down the timer. And hang on, that's facing the wrong way. I don't even know if the direction matters, actually. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, well. Um, so, yes. So the timer can connect to that thing. And also to that thing. So now... Let's see this work. Bucket from there should pump into this thing. Yeah, where it gets pumped out. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh my god. What? Oh. What happened there? Oh my god. Was there a hole in the floor? Are the things coming through? I don't think they are. Oh my god, what the hell happened? That can't have been... Did something explode? I've got to go take a look. I don't have any armor on. I'm going to get destroyed, but I just have to see. Like, in the nether, no armor. This is a recipe for disaster. He's going to destroy my portal, and I'm going to be trapped here. Just leave me alone, ghast. God, today of all days, just leave me alone. I, I have to find out what happened. There's no hole here. What the hell happened? Oh, that was just a glitch. Okay, so what has happened to my bucket anyway? Should have gone on into this ender chest and been pumped out the other end. Okay, well... Let's get back home then. Oh God. I'm glad I don't have anything on me anymore because I'm going to die. I'm not going to survive this return journey. Oh. 
Okay. This machine should work, but I don't think it is. And I have a feeling that's because I'm not on a server. I'm doing this locally. So I might need to change that. Unless my buckets are getting clogged up somewhere, but they shouldn't be. Um, oh God, a bit of lag. Because the generator is full. Like, yeah, there's no sign of the buckets going around. Okay, well, I'm probably going to have to move this to a server then for next week. Um, and just sort of continue from there. I can't believe I've lost all of that stuff. I'm glad I dumped a ton of stuff back here before that happened. That was completely unfair. Um, okay, do I have anything valuable I can convert? Oh, you know what I can do? All of this sand. It's not valuable, but... Oh, and this nickelite. Yeah, take the nickelite first. Um, <laughs> there we go. Just make myself some new armor. There we go. I've got I've got to fix my player skin as well. Whatever's going on. Oh, that was such a pain. I need a weapon too. Um Yeah, do I have sticks anywhere or wood? I've got a piece of wood. Oh, I think I have logs in here. Really, really back near back to back to basics again. Just crafting. My diamond pick is gone. Um, that's a pain. My red red alloy wire. Um, I don't know why these things are dis are disappearing though. Let's just see what happens. Hang on, there's a zombie. At the door. I'll just tell him to feck off. Oh, two. He brought his friend. Okay. Um, where's all that iron? Yeah. I'm going to make myself a bucket and try it down here and see what happens. I need lava in it, though. Um... If we can simulate whatever is happening on this end of the machine, we might be able to see where the bucket is disappearing to. Because we saw that on the other end, um, it seemed to be working okay, I think. As long as the bucket arrived in, it got filled with lava and got um, sent through the tube. So I'll try this thing. It could be because there isn't enough uh, room to deploy the lava on this end. If our generator is already full, I don't know what um, what happens then. It should fill up the tanks, actually. So, I don't know. Let's see. I'll stick that... Oh. Oh, right. It disappeared, but it's pumped out correctly into that. And it's gone. Okay, that's our issue then. Um, our issue is this machine, the liquid loader, which was working just at the start of this stream and now has decided it doesn't want to okay well i'm, I'm going to leave it at here to here tonight we've um we're on the cusp of this i just have to 
replace this liquid loader with something or find out what's going wrong with it. It's not a server client problem or anything. It is just this stupid machine is um, not doing its job right. It's just consuming the buckets and destroying them for whatever reason. I have no idea what its motivation is. I'll, I'll look back at my recording and see what I did differently earlier. Maybe I'm uh, going through the wrong hole or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out anyway. So yeah, if you've enjoyed tonight's stream and you want to watch it again, I'll be uploading it to YouTube. That's NinjaConnor86. If you're already watching on YouTube and you want to catch it live again, check out twitch.tv slash NinjaConnor. I will be back next Sunday night at half eight. That's Irish time. So until then, goodbye.